Okay, the other video is still processing in YouTube, so uh, we'll resume playing more games. We have an Illuminates, very challenging, so <clears throat> I can jump in. I like the auto injector, it's nice insurance just to make sure that you don't uh, you don't die from friendly fire, you can get back up again, you regen really fast, you're always at max health. I find the auto injector to be the best perk, especially when your friends are also your enemies in a sense that they shoot you or they they make a lot of mistakes that cause your demise. So you find that the auto injector <clears throat> uh, really helps out. So um, against the limits, I'm gonna do uh, ammo. You know what? I'll I'll actually just keep up the uh, the razor ribbon. <clears throat> Maybe one of them should have been a strafing run. I'm not going to call in anything because they're in transit right now. It doesn't make sense to. We're bringing a black box, so I wouldn't hold them up any further by calling in stratagems right now. You always want to read the situation when you join a game. Read the situation before you start bringing out your radio and calling in all sorts of things that take up to like 15 seconds to move on. It looks like uh, patrols have already alerted um, their friends, so I'm going to keep moving here, make sure that the front's clear. And this should be the last objective. And then we'll go back left to the extraction. I'm expecting to find some units here that were called in earlier. I guess we can go up here. Stand by. Equipment on its way. We're calling in a UAV. <clears throat> Extraction confirmed. Shuttle inbound. ETA T minus dropping one equipment. minute thirty seconds. Dropping Deploying equipment. Dropping advantage. equipment. Reloading. Stratagem incoming. Why oh, didn't shoot earlier? a little awkward with the unit, um, with the council member unit, because the, that inverts all your uh, directions. way that a sniper is located when they have their laser. You can just break the laser and then you can tell which direction they're in. I don't want to pick this guy up. To, oh, yeah, he should have waited to get up. He knew that the laser was above him. His timing was off. He should have stayed on the ground and let the projectile go over him. When you have a laser above you and you're incapacitated, you really need to time when you should get up. If you feel you can get up early enough where you can dodge the projectile once you start standing, uh, then do so. Otherwise, just stay on the ground, let it go over you. Don't pick up anyone where a laser is about to go off, a projectile is about to go off. Because then if you pick them up, they'll instantly die. You need to be really careful with that when you play against the Illuminates. Especially in higher difficulties when you have a lot of lasers pointed everywhere. Hellport launch sequence initiated. Crew to stations. I repeat, crew to stations. <laughs> I 
We'll see what location they pick. It seems more sensible to do the escort first in the bottom right. You can kind of draw it out with your eyes. Uh, they decided to go top left, so it's going to take us more time to complete the objectives. <clears throat> I'm going to ch change to the Liberator, just so I can get those snipers a little bit easier. <clears throat> I don't. I think I still want the ammo bag. I'm going to do double heavy strafing runs. I think that looks good to me. Or I could do like one strafing run and maybe a rep 80 to keep uh, these two guys healthy and off their feet. I mean on their feet I should say. Not off their feet. Off the ground. <clears throat> the rep 80 is great to, uh, to essentially pick people up that are incapacitated from a distance. You don't want to be perpetually healing people with the rep 80. It's ineffective that way. If these guys are moving, then I'll keep moving as well. I'm not going to call in my stratagems. Oh, I guess he wants to call in his stratagems. Dropping equipment. He's going to call in ammo. Equipment. Stand by. Equipment and a healing drone. Way. Dropping equipment. Equipment on its way. Nice and straight. Nice and straight. Okay, I guess I'll get the other ammunition. The other guy has a laser weapon. He doesn't need ammo. <clears throat> I'll just follow this guy around. It looks like they're going to do some sample hunting, so I might quit early. Sample hunting is worthless to me. I don't feel like running to different points on a map. Um, I get turned off pretty quickly by it, honestly. And then you could argue, yeah, of course, it's because you're level 50, but... If you actually play the game right and get experience and level up, you get a research point for every time you level up. Um, and if you're just so focused on getting samples and obsessed about it, then the finer details of the game, I think, escape you. You're not really paying attention to the finer details of the game to play better. Reloading. And nothing's really scarier than an in inexperienced player with um, high-leveled items and such. It's really scary. Do a heavy strafing run here. That Oakland should die. This guy is unfortunate timing. Always got to keep the objective going. I'm gonna guess where the obelisk is here. I don't know if I'm gonna kill it or not. Okay, I killed it. They gotta start shooting these snipers. It, like the right side is obviously where they're coming from. I don't know why we're si we're stationed on the left side. <clears throat> I like I like the liberator for the straight shots. Shots are really straight, which is great for the snipers. Nice straight shots. Okay, that's from the bottom. Okay. Go, go, go. Okay, he's saying move, but I don't know which way he wants us to go. It usually helps when you have one person in the party leading. Also, he tends to do a UAV, but he's not doing it now. So I'm not really sure if he's prioritizing samples or not. If he's not, that's, I mean, that's great for my fun factor, but... Two yellow dots to the south, that's presumably ammo. Okay, now he does the UAV. <clears throat> Let's move. I don't really like the healing drone too much against the Illuminates. I find some of the deaths, or many of the deaths, are because of snipers. Uh, snipers can kind of kill you in one hit, so I think with heavy armor you might still survive, but for the most part you die in one hit. Reload. I'm going to reload before I pick up this ammo box, because I have more than half the maximum capacity I can carry. So, I'm going to reload first to get the most out of the ammo box that I can.
I almost messed up there horribly. <clears throat> oh, I can't miss those shots like that. We have one guy who's off screen. I like to stay behind on, on some of these escorts just to keep everyone on screen. I'm behind the last guy. And then if anyone tries to creep up behind us, I can turn around and shoot them. I like to stay right behind the last guy at the back. I don't know why he's not shooting the sniper. That one escort died because of that. He just kind of ignored him. Reloading. Helldiver deploying to combat zone. Okay, stare at your character, stare at your Helldiver, stare at him, stare at him. There they are. Okay. They're not going to land on my head. So we have to just kill enemies at this point. Okay. <laughs> and we're done. Stand by. Equipment on its way. So we have two players now in the game with a UAV. I don't know why we're not reacting to that. I guess the guy was just typing instead. Extraction confirmed. Incoming fire. ETA team is dropping equipment. Dropping equipment. Repeat. Dropping equipment. I messed up there. I didn't kill the observer in time. virtual wall. I don't know if that's going to reach or not the obelisk. It looks like it did. Oh, I did not see that laser. Always call in your friends when you can. There's three people still in the game not calling in their friends. Expecting him to die. Now I'll call in my friends. I don't know why you would call in a shredder missile at this time. I don't know why you'd call a shredder missile and then get hit by your own shuttle. It doesn't make sense. You could actually kill your friends. One person already went on the shuttle, they should have waited. Don't go on the shuttle if not all of your friends are in the game. Now because of that, this player might not, not, might not even make it. They have to dive on, maybe? Okay. That was unnecessarily... close. It didn't have to be that close. There's no reason to, to use that Shredder stratagem. I find that stratagem to be used incorrectly most of the time. The idea is like when the shuttle lands, you want everyone to get on the shuttle. And so calling a stratagem, calling in a, sh a stratagem such as the Shredder on the shuttle I think it's it's easy to see how that's incredibly wrong. Um, and then to get on the shuttle when not everyone is ready to get on the shuttle, I think also does not need an explanation. Uh, so we have one more mission left <clears throat> on this planet. So I will uh, stick with them. So going from left to right makes sense. That's where that seems like what we're doing. We're gonna get the black box first, drop it off at the structure, and then do the other objectives. I think uh, what were we lacking in these past g couple games? I still think I want a strafing run. Maybe I'll I'll take the regular one, and then maybe something even like a uh, an incendiary wouldn't be terrible. 
Just to like keep him back. Just keep him back uh, if an observer were to go off. It seems we're struggling with killing observers. I'm struggling with getting to the observers. I missed... I know I've been missing my shots and it's been getting pretty close to the point where they do call in the rest of their, their army, but... Um, so with that, just seeing how we're struggling with observers, I can use the incendiary bomb in response to that if they go off. Pick up the sample. Equipment we're calling stuff way. in, so I guess I'll call my, in my ammo bag. But I really have nothing else to call in. I didn't bring a secondary weapon, uh, like a dumb gum or anything. I didn't bring any of those. So. Kill observers. Ammo is called in from over here. I guess I'll pick up the other one. Okay, so... Didn't kill that observer, obviously. I'm gonna get the incendiary bomb down here. We're going to go straight right. <clears throat> the incendiary bomb should cover our back for a time. It's a line of fire that persists for like 10 seconds, I believe. So it's, it's pretty good at keeping enemies at bay. And I tend to use it in response to an alert. So if a uh, patrol alerts um, their, their army, then that's when I tend to cast it. I don't know where that observer is from. Reloading. Oh, we got all three there. That was really good. Now, I might have made a mistake here by starting the defense before clearing the area. I'm going to call in fire here up top because that's where the alert's from. Like I said before, I always use the incendiary in response to an alert, if a patrol alerts. Enemies tend to spawn around the alert, so I just throw it right where the alert was. Two obelisks with that one straight and run, that was really good. Nice and straight shooting. I still have plenty of ammo. Seven magazines. I believe my maximum on the Liberator... I think the maximum you can carry on the Liberator is 12. <clears throat> Dropping equipment. Oh. Slight navigational error there. And as a consequence, the observer got off. I might do an incendiary behind us here. Start stabbing. Nice and straight shooting. Got 
got that observer just in time. That one survivor got nailed by that shot, but as long as we get one in the structure, we're okay. Another alert went off. I think there's an observer behind us. That was an unfortunate mistake. I don't know why he took my ammo backpack. He had his own backpack. Just apparently quit. I guess I'm taking the angel. I don't know why he took my bag when he had his own backpack. That was really bizarre. I uh, messed, messed that up. You have to be a little wary of people taking your stratagems when you when you die. I don't know why some people have the inclination to take your items. Each item is a stratagem, really, so... Someone's taking your stratagem, it's unfortunate. And then it kind of, it can actually ruin your entire loadout. I might actually fall here. Nope. I guess my, uh, my healing passive with the healing drone really helped me there. The ballist did not die. Oh, there it goes. low on ammo here, so I might take some out of my backpack that's on the other player. So someone threw a shredder over on the left side. See the observer down there. So not everyone can get on yet. I don't know why that player got on the shuttle. That was really stupid. You want to do everything you can to make sure everyone can get on the shuttle. Okay. So that was another example of the importance of not getting on the shuttle until you know everyone else can get on the shuttle. And remember, ensuring that everyone does get on the shuttle is a star, which is experience, which are levels for your, for your account, which translates into research points. So the more stars you have, the more research points you get. Uh, we have zero community influence because the host left. And this is not our mission, technically. I'm not sure who the host is now. It might be me. It's apparently me. I'm going to switch it up to the cyborgs. I don't know if we can handle tanks uh, with this squad, especially if they're not even staying. So I'll just start with difficulty 6 and then if I get a request to do harder then I will. But it gets to a point, as I said before, where your friends are also your enemy. So it's like you against the enemy against your friends. Um, and, and that's more apparent as the difficulty gets harder and then as you have, as you have more players in the game with you because the game increases in difficulty the more players you have as well. So, um, Cyborg. Commencing mission. I'm going to do the Patriot. I'm going to keep the ammo. I think we need something a little bit defensive, so I might, I'm going to take a turret. 
and a strafing run. Um, we have a few points that need some defending, so if this person really struggles with it, they're level 11, so if they struggle with defending me while I'm doing a truth transmitter, I will put a turret down. And uh, the turret will also help us during the extraction period. Okay, I'm not going to call in anything. Uh, if anything, um, I can just call stuff in while I'm doing the truth transmitter. That would be more time efficient. Uh, if the other player was calling stuff in, then I would have done so as well. I'm going to call in my ammo bag while I'm doing the truth transmitter. Always kill the patrol units first that do all the alerting. I hear dogs. Okay. So we need to move on to the next objective here. And this player is also moving on. This is a good decision. They didn't stick around to fight. Just moving on. The Hulk is a very slow unit, so we should have no problem just moving on. I almost messed up there. I do hear the Hulk in the background, so the Hulk is still coming. See if I can get stage three off here. This might be a little greedy. Have to reload. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna reload and then I'm gonna do this real quick if I can. It's good that he was shooting to prevent him from approaching any closer. Strafing run took a, took out that patrol. I think this player is doing fantastic. There's a sample here. There's also a sample over here that I will let him get there. I hear that Hulk behind us, that new Hulk that was called in. still hear that Hulk. I do have to reload soon. I'm good on ammo. More ammo is being called in by the other player. So I don't know if they're aware that they can just take ammo out of my bag. I wanted to finish that... I wanted to finish that um, step in the objective before the dogs got me. and then dip out of my ammo bag before I pick up another ammo. That will give me maximum ammo. And it will increment my ammo bag uh, count by one. The ammo that's in my bag by one. So I did not waste any ammo picking up that ammo box there. I got everything out of that. This guy's struggling a bit. Do a strafing run, it'll do some damage. So as we keep moving, do another strafing run here. Ah, uh, have to reload. Found him. 
find another sample for him. I hear a Hulk again behind us. We don't have very long to run with these survivors. The escort should be short. Unless we come across the units that were called in earlier. In which case it could get dicey, but we might be okay. Extraction is right next door here. Okay. Extraction should be right here. I do hear a patrol up. Extraction confirmed. Supplies incoming. Inbound. ETA T minus one minute. Deploying. What I am going to do. Turret in the corner there. So I think we're going to get the most activity from top and top right. So I think that's a good spot for it. I might as well call in ammo. I think our extraction will complete, so calling in ammo doesn't hurt or hurt anything. Discipline. Okay. We should both be able, be able to get on, so. Looks good. One more for this planet. Launch sequence initiated. Crew to station. Looks like this player Repeat. is staying. Crew to stations. Okay. So I think top left would make most sense. Or just like the top portion here. We can run through the the search area and then hopefully stumble across the truth transmitter. I'm gonna switch up my weapon here. Punisher. I like the Punisher, because each kill is like, I think this is like the most satisfying weapon if you get a kill with it. It just feels good. I can't really describe it. it. Just feels like a good kill every time you kill. Incoming. Dropping equipment. I'm gonna call my stuff in now. Oh, 
I don't know how long it'll take to find this objective, so calling my stuff in now, I figured, made some sense. Because if it takes too long to find... Oh! Never mind. Never mind. Alright. Firing for effect. The obliterator can be somewhat awkward because of its very nature of being a grenade launcher. The cyborgs have dogs, and the dogs run very fast, so if you have the obliterator in your hands, you might have a tough time killing the dogs with it, being that it shoots a projectile over them. Reloading. I guess we're going bottom right. That's where the guy's kind of going. It would make more sense to go bottom left, but... But at the same time, we are closer, so... I don't know, I guess I'm overanalyzing. The Punisher is a shotgun with a very tight choke. And it's very, very, it can be very strong on a single unit. also shoots very far, so you can pick people off with it at a distance. It does very high damage. Watch out. Now the Punisher also has goes through ammo quick. So you need to be mindful of your ammo. Keep going here. Towards the objective. Bullets are coming in. Could have just dove on the ground. He's calling in ammo. But I do have an ammo backpack that he could just uh, take ammo out of. Hopefully he sees it on his screen. I guess not. Supplies incoming. That's not good. Call in your friends when you can. Was incredibly stupid, guys. Um, he's got to keep back the Hulk from that rocket. I don't know why he threw me behind him there. He's, got, he's really got to keep that Hulk away from the rocket or we're going to lose it. I don't know why he's retreating down so far. He should be going up here. Okay. Okay. 
surprised I didn't kill the patrol in time. Okay. I'm really uncertain what I hit. I mean, I must have hit an object in the environment that made my obliterator round explode in my face like that. But visually looking at it, I don't not entirely sure what I hit. Okay. So we have extraction here. Extraction confirmed. Shuttle inbound. ETA T minus one minute thirty seconds. Deploying ordnance. That turret will be very helpful. be able to get on, so I'm just going to get on. One of the great things about the Punisher is that you can reload individual rounds between shots. So you have a certain attack speed where when you shoot, you have to use the action to load another round and then shoot again. But in that time frame when you're using the action, when your character is using the action of the shotgun to then shoot another round, you can actually load another round. So essentially you can just keep shooting and you don't have to then, then stop shooting to reload. You can reload in between um, the action being used to load another round. So between your shots you can actually reload, which makes it very efficient that way. But you can also imagine that you go through ammunition very quickly with the Punisher. So in that case like one ammo stratagem for yourself <laughs> uh, could be argued. Um, uh, else, if you if you share your ammo, you have to hope that others share their ammo as well. Those um, I might stop the recording here, and then uh, I will upload it. So I'll see you guys in the next one.